Hi guys, welcome back to the Chicago Pro 2022 complete lineup results. There were 14 contestants this time, where James Kerberson came at last place. One of the youngest Mexican bodybuilder Josue Placencia had to settle for 13th place in his first show of the year. Last year, Eric Ramirez suffered from a complete distal hamstring tear which is a big tendon that runs inside the leg behind the knee which hampered him from training for a straight 4 months but now after one year he's back with impressive transformation under the supervision of coach Matt Jensen and it was his first show after the surgery where he landed at 12th place. 11th place finisher Manuel Romero has made a comeback to the bodybuilding stage after 3 years dealing with some serious neck and shoulder injuries. He has presented an impressive package with tremendous legs development. He also won Masters over 40 class of Chicago Pro. But his underdeveloped and lagging chest is always his weak point which hampers him from placing higher. But this time his conditioning was on point and it was his main goal in short period of time to bring the best conditioning on stage. Now he will take an off season to come back bigger and fuller next time. Seth Engman has managed to crack top 10 this time after the Vancouver Pro last week. He looks very amazing in back shots and he seems improved from the last show. So hopefully he consistently competes this season with more improvements. Afan Danebo Thierry has been awarded with 9th place. He seems to be in better conditioning than his previous performance. But 10th place finisher Fep who already beat him in last show Vancouver Pro was undeniably dominant in back shots. Dorian Haywood has finished taking 8th place. It has been his 4th show of the year 2022 and he's not done yet. He will be competing in Tampa Pro as well. Hopefully he brings more condition package in 2 weeks. So Chris Ditmanico has stepped on stage I believe after 2 years with some incredible improvements especially in conditioning standpoint. He has made very tremendous transformation and he has showcased his best version by far. He was expecting much higher spot than 7th place but I think it's still a great result for Chris. Matchkoba came with more sharp and mature physique with deep muscle separation compared to his last Chicago Pro and he has received 6th place in the contest which is by far the highest placing for match since he turned pro. It's been a 4th consecutive show for Jonas Jetrus and he's bringing very solid package in each competition and specifically his conditioning is always on point which cannot be underestimated. And he's earning constantly good spots since he made a pro debut this year but realistically I think he cannot earn Olympia qualification this year through point standings as he will not get more points than the top 3 until unless he win a pro show for the qualification. So many people were having Jonas Jatras beating Tim Budesheim in Chicago Pro and Jonas was clearly dominant in some front shots without any doubt. But uh, undeniably he's very weak in back shots compared to Tim. Tim has so much dense and thick back development and Tim was also impressive in conditioning standpoint. So I think he deserves to be at 4th place. Andrea Mozzi has taken again a very respectful place in his 5th consecutive contest this year and right now he is having 2nd highest points in point standings for qualification. Although Steve Kuklo will be fighting in Texas Pro in few weeks for securing his spot in Olympia but if Andrea does manage to crack top 5 again in another show I think it will be enough for him to qualify through point standings and we will be watching him stepping on Mr. Olympia stage this year very first time. Former 212 bodybuilder Tony Burton has managed to take second place against 
a lot heavier contestants in Chicago Pro. He was just at 220 pounds on stage. So I'm about 220 right now. Yeah. But his muscle maturity, shape, size and conditioning was extremely impressive. And he was invincible in back double bicep shot, which led him beating much massive contestants. He will not be competing anymore this year, so it will be exciting watching his improvements next year after a complete off-season. Um, this is the last show for the season. He just needs to add 10 to 15 pounds of more mass and he's going to be the real deal in his upcoming shows. So finally Antoine Wayan has won by far his second ever pro show. I think it was overall the best version of Antoine. He was not as massive as his last Olympia where he was at 275 pounds. I was 275 at the Olympia. But he was very streamlined this time, extremely shredded and it was a very well separated physique at 259 pounds. 16 pounds lighter than Olympia 2020. I think his main strength is his lower half, his well-built hamstrings, his massive quads and humongous calves. But he has made some prominent improvements on his back as well but still he needs more density and thickness on his upper half and might be possible he cracks top 10 this year Olympia if he keeps making progress. So massive congratulations to Antoine for winning and qualifying for the Olympia. Thanks for watching.